everyone, this is Bevan from North York Senior Center. Today we're going to be preparing salmon and um, I will let you know what will be added into or my ingredients. Um, first I have a fillet of beautiful salmon uh, with the skin at the back and what will be added to this salmon will be all-purpose seasoning from my kitchen to yours. Um, onion powder and gar garlic I just kind of mix them together um, I put a bit of um, dry thyme in it a uh, pinch of salt will be also added um, honey I'll be uh, drizzling it with a bit of honey um, and also um, olive oil you could use vegetable oil I just like using olive oil when I do cook um, we're gonna also be adding some onions um, chop onions as well as some garlic and what I'm gonna pair this salmon with is baby spinach of course and uh, citrus so I will be adding a bit of orange with the salmon okay so let's go ahead I already washed my salmon and have it ready to go so first I will be adding as I said is my um, all-purpose seasoning so I just put a little bit over it just like that and this is my own recipe as well. Not from the internet or anything like that. So not too much because you don't wanna overpower your salmon with too many, too much um, seasoning, okay? So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the onion. I put the onion and the garlic in together, it's okay. And I put a little bit on it, okay? After which I'm gonna put a pinch of dry thyme and I just do that just to get it in there, right? The bum, there we go. A pinch of salt as well, just to give it some flavor. And what I also do is I also put um, sprinkle some salt once I'm going to fry it on, on, the, on, on the top of the stove. Um, I sprinkle some salt into the bottom of the pan just to give it a nice little crispy. Um, flavor so see what I do I drizzled a bit of the oil on it and I kind of rub it in just massage it in a little bit right okay okay good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just leave this here just like so just for now um, and then I'm gonna chop up my garlic because I'm gonna be sauteing my garlic so with to go with the the salmon okay so I just got a nice piece of um, clove of garlic to go in and you know I love cooking with garlic and onion it's my one of my favorite ingredients in my kitchen because it just gives the, the food such a nice flavor okay just don't chop your fingers off and I'm by no means I'm any master in my own kitchen I tell you chop it up not too fine that's what I do and then I'm just gonna put some gar onions. I kind of dice it really, really um, thin slices of onion. Now I'm using yellow onion, but you can use whatever onions that you feel um, that you wanna use. Okay, just leave this here. And what I do, dice that up, turn it around, and just dice that up like so, okay? All right. There we go with that. I'm gonna put this aside. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit, if I could get it out, of honey on my salmon. It's coming, okay? Mm. Just a little bit, not too much. There we go. Just put it around beautifully. And maybe you just want to use maybe a, just a teaspoon, right? A teaspoon of honey. I'm going to kind of rub it in a little bit. Let it sit in there. Okay. And this is ready to go into the frying pan. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, turn my stove on and get my, my salmon ready to go, right? Okay. So now I'm going to be adding into my pan a tablespoon or so of olive oil just let that heat up a little bit 
right it around the pan so it's all evenly into the pan okay all right and then as I said before I do a little bit of salt in the bottom just to make sure that the start the salmon doesn't stick to the to the pan okay all right a bit of that uh, I'm going to get my onions and my garlic and I will be putting that into so I put a little bit of garlic a little bit of onion, right? I'm going to saute this. Okay. Oh, I think I need something to stir it. I'm going to turn my stove a little bit down. You don't want it to be, you don't want it to be too high so that it's slowly. Oh, look at that, eh? Wow. Mmm. And then what I do, I put my salmon on top of it. I sit it on top of the onion so it will take up all that flavor all right, of the onion and the garlic, okay? So I'm going to be adding my salmon into, look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm going to put my salmon into it, right on top, right on top. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go, slowly. And then, I also drizzle just a little bit of lemon on top of it, just like so, not too much, okay? There's a little pit inside of it. There you go, just take that off. All right, here we go, look at that. Nice. Wow. This is gonna be absolutely delicious once it's finished. And you know, you're gonna pair it with the with the spinach and all of that stuff, right? Now remember, this is coming from my kitchen to your kitchen, um, uh, my ingredients. Uh, again, I use a teaspoon of um, all-purpose seasoning, if, just in case you want the recipe, a teaspoon of um, garlic powder, onion powder, I mix it together, and a pinch of thyme, dry thyme I put on, on it, a uh, pinch of salt goes in, your olive oil go in, your lemon um, drizzle on top. Now you can do this on top of the stove or you can put it in the oven. When I do cook it in the oven, I put it on broil. So it's give it a nice, once it's cooking, the top, the top will have a nice brown color and you know, you don't overdo it. Um, so it, it will be moist. When I do do it in the oven, I do it for about maybe less 15, 20 minutes if I put it in the oven. More than that will make your salmon dry, and you don't want to have salmon that is dry. It does for me. It doesn't taste all that great. Okay. All right. Let's see. Beautiful. Just a little bit more in the bottom, and then I'm going to turn it over. All right. Take a look at that. Okay. I'm going to just turn it over. Flip it. Ah, look at that. Woo! Beautiful, eh? Wow. All right. I'm going to leave that, and now I'm going to get prepared. Leave it on a little bit low. And I'm going to start preparing uh, this. I'm going to use some onions for the spinach, okay? So I'm just going to cut some onions here. Like I said, I do enjoy cooking with a lot of onions. You don't have to. And this is so healthy for you, by the way, you know. The salmon has got the omega-3 fatty acid, um, your greens with your iron. So something very easy to do, and it's also healthy at the same time. Let me get some garlic. Ooh, mm, there we go. Here we go. You don't want to put too much. I'm going to crush this here. You do this and it will peel the onion very quickly. Voila, look at that. And then I'm going to rinse it off. Okay. There we go. Chop it up. You don't have to chop it up very fine or, you know, whatever. This is how I do mine. A little bit more onion. As I said, I love onion. Now, we're going to go over, back, and I'm going to turn on my um, this, this stove for doing the spinach, okay? Very good look. Wow. 
Voilà. Ah oh, oui. Just leave it like that. Now I'm going to put the onions and garlic for the um, spinach. So I saute. You don't want to turn up the stove too high because you don't want nothing to burn, right? All right, I'm going to chop up my spinach so I could put it in there. I just take it up, a whole bunch of it. I'm going to chop that up. Please don't cut your fingers off, okay? <laughs> Just gonna put a pinch of salt. Not too much. For people that have hypertension, you don't wanna add too much um, salt in your in your cooking. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna put my spinach in. Now you don't wanna cook. Let's take a look at our salmon. Look at that. Boom. All right, see it's falling apart, so that means it's cooking slowly. You don't want to overcook your spinach, right? You just want to add for a few, good for a few minutes. But it'll be so good. Oh, look at that. Keep stirring. All right. Oops. This piece of corn. Turn it over. Okay. Doesn't that look great? I'm telling you. It's going to be so good after this. There you go. Salmon is ready. We're going to take it off, turn off our stove. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to plate our salmon right now. Oh, isn't that beautiful color? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oops, it's break apart a little bit, but that's okay. Oh. Here we are. Let's fix that up nicely. All right. Okay, good. All right, after which we are going to take our spinach and we're going to plate it. Ooh, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Ooh, lovely. I'm going to put your salmon, your spinach all over. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Just right over there. is a little hot but that's okay get every last drop of it out after which as I said we're going to serve it with citrus so I'm just going to put a little bit of orange over here to make it looks really nice and a nice color right you have the green and you've got your orange and your your pink salmon so you're just gonna set it up really nicely all right and after that I'm just going to drizzle a little bit, hopefully, of uh, orange over and juiced over it. Oh, take a look at that. Mm? Boom! Isn't that beautiful? I think I'm hungry right now. And this is our salmon of the day. And then that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I hope you enjoy this. Bye for now.